Okay, we're back live inside theCUBE. This is uh, SiliconAngle.tv's extensive coverage of IBM Edge 2012. IBM's on the ground here in Orlando. They have IBM Innovate going right across the street here, and also IBM Storage Technology yep. Innovation Conference, The Edge 2012. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com. This is theCUBE, our flagship telecast. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise, share that with you, and get all the smartest guys in the room to come on, smartest guys and gals. We've had uh, some great guests here from IBM and uh, some of their customers. So, Again, I'm John Furrier, and I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of wikibon.org, and yes, John, we had the big data gal on uh, <laughs> before, uh, and he was very uh, uh, impressive, and um, now we're here with good friend Ed Walsh. Uh, Ed runs uh, the storage portfolio strategy for IBM. Ed, welcome again inside oh. the Cube. Cube it's alumni, good. welcome back. <laughs> so, alumni, is good to be back. So Edge is a nice event, um, yeah. but, but very high quality, great attendance, better than expected attendance. Yep. Sold out, um, in fact. Yeah, sold out. Uh, I think originally you guys were expecting 1,500, yep. I think 1,900 or so registered. And Correct. So I would expect you got north of 1,500 that, that showed up. I mean, I'm impressed by IBM in general as a company. Dave and I are talking about the, the obviously the, the performance of the company overall sure. financially Absolutely. in the marketplace. Yep. You know, nothing to shake a stick at. They're doing very, very well. Um, but as a, as a technology company and services, they got they got everything end to end. Um, however, it's kind of all over the place. You got this guy sell this and this from division. But you know, you stack up IBM's assets. They got they got a lot. They got everything there. And everyone's racing to get solutions out in the market with big data and cloud. There's a lot of momentum. Yep. Converged infrastructure. We were talking earlier. It's you know, half a trillion dollar up. Um, business opportunity sure. in the marketplace, converged infrastructure, two thirds of the enterprises are moving. So the question that I want to talk to you about is, sure. I, storage is strategic, we've talked about this on theCUBE Absolutely. before. It's, it's an element that has a lot of enablement around it. Um, and uh, not everyone has all the picture, the pieces of the picture. You guys have that coming together. Um, you've introduced this portfolio concept, uh, which is essentially packaging up, not just storage, speeds and feeds, and all the, the greatness of the performance you guys need to do, but other elements. So talk about, this event, storage innovation, you know, expanding your storage uh, uh, leadership, and how that translates to the portfolio, and what is the portfolio? So, so good questions, and I think you're right. You know, it's almost, uh, if you look at our portfolio, it's truly the most complete portfolio in storage, but also if you look wider as far as the solutions need, either big data, or analytics, or a cloud, it's the most complete portfolio in the industry. But the challenge is, how do you bring that in form of a client in an organized way, because of the size and the scale, to be honest, of IBM. But if you're going to come to one person, coming to IBM, you can get the whole solution set. So what Edge is all about is our premier storage event. Yes, it's focused more on storage, but really how the how interplay with both analytics, building out clouds, as well as also you know big data. And what you have to do is we're working on ways just to communicate what is our portfolio, what are the key areas that we're investing on, and what you can take out of that portfolio. You guys are obviously investing, so talk about what's happening internally. I mean, how does this all work, and all the groups, are they kind of working together? Yeah. Who's kind of, who's maestro in here? Is it the storage group, is it the software, all of the above? How does that work internally? Well, so we have uh, very good coordination, actually driven by Ginny, the CEO, to do cross IBM plays. And it's not to do bundling, but it's actually to have coordination. So imagine what we could do around analytics and big data with our investment in software on so much analytics and big data. Imagine what we could do in cloud when you look at all the stuff we do for GTS, what we do internally, what we do intuitively, and bring that together. So we're doing these cross IBM plays, and that's driven directly from the top, from Ginny. Uh, so, you know, if we talk about individual initiatives, I'll tell you where we're, again, cross IBM, bring it to bear. And what you're seeing today is we're talking about, you know, smarter storage, which really plays upon our overall message of smarter planet, which you need smarter computing, and how smarter storage plays into it, and really show people how they can use a portfolio um, to help out in situations like analytics, big data, cloud. So, smarter storage. Um, sure. Great tagline. Yep. Um, sort of what's the product example in the portfolio yeah. that supports that? So if you look at smarter storage, it has some key tenants, if you would. So it was launched today. So it's a you know smarter storage is efficient by design, smarter storage is self-optimizing, and smarter storage is cloud agile. And what we mean by that, those are the key things we're investing across the portfolio. So a good example is like, okay, so cloud, you're going to build a private cloud. Where does that come together for clients? Well, it needs to have all those components. So a really good example would be our PureFlex offering, which is our consolidating infrastructure, both systems, network, management, and storage, and smarter storage is part of that overall offering. So it's a classic private cloud 2.0, and where it's differentiated compared to anyone else in the industry, it's really, to do that right, it's actually hard, and everyone else took a shortcut. So what the clients were asking for in private cloud is, hey, help me get, you know, 
control over my environment. Let me consolidate my environment and get control over it so I get elasticity and you know, some efficiency. And what the industry provided them was kind of like 1.0, which was, well, I'll give you, and it ended up being a VMware only type of consolidation play, led by EMC with vBlock and Cisco, et cetera. What IBM did, which, by the way, was a lot of hard work, but really answered the question. It's a smarter answer, which is, no, no, you want to consolidate your environment. And what we do with the PureFlex initiative is allow you to bring in your environment, which is not just VMware. In fact, you might want multiple virtualization engines, but, but one interface, but physical environments, also Intel, but also some risk architectures like P-Series, and bring that together. Now, that's what people are looking for, and that was a big announcement we had in uh, April. Another good example of cross-IBM. So that is a system, a storage, a network, and a management coming together to provide the industry something that you can't get anywhere else. So I infer from that you've been working on this for a while. Sure. Um, and you're right, it's hard. You have a lot more in the portfolio to bring together than just you know, a single hypervisor, a, you know, a single storage product. And at the same time though, um, you were late to market. So the question is, will those capabilities sort of offset that time to market disadvantage? Yeah. Okay, so one thing, I don't think we're late, but I think from a marketing position, <laughs> we got a little you're outmarketed. You're late because it's still a tiny market today, right? Well, no, yeah. no. So if our Blade Center Foundation for Cloud, which yeah. is what we put forward, is exactly vBlock. It's integrated systems, VMware, network, management, and storage. Now, we probably didn't do the best getting the news out, but also that was kind of a me too. And IBM was working in the background, the real solution, yeah, okay. which came out not there. So, so you didn't want to I make a lot of noise that, about well, sort of the... Well, I think we failed to make noise. Okay, you feel like maybe in retrospect you, you had an opportunity there. Yeah. But the key thing is we had it for our clients that needed it, but I'll tell you, PureFlex is a step above what you can get from the industry. You made a lot of noise about that. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think clients are raving. I'll tell you, every time I talk about it, you ask a question, so. running multiple hypervisors, and you people, how many people have VMware, everyone raised their hand, and then you ask, well, how many people run only VMware, and it's like, you know, crickets. Mm -hmm. And this allows you to bring your environment together, physical and virtual. And I'll tell you, that's a big play. So when you're talking about cloud, that's a good example of IBM coming together to solve a big challenge that no one else can do. And, this, and we've heard for the customers are coming in from different uh, vectors now yeah. to IBM, from business line managers versus IT, where storage sales guys would go in, so yeah. they got storage speeds yep. and feeds sure. and so on. So um, that's good news. Yeah, I agree. Um, the question I have for you now on the portfolio is much more of a roadmap question. Sure. Um, you were around the cube today talking about Flash, talking about yep. moving and software being the enabler and moving across tiers and having yep. all those, those cool features. But with Flash and with Fusion IO, with Violin, there's different philosophies of where Flash sits. <laughs> you know, depending upon who you talk to, it's I want yep. it a server card, I want it yep. the network, I want it the app, um, and uh, you know, data retention is, is the number one issue yep. right now. Latency, retention, so you know, these new architectures are coming up. Yep. How does it affect your okay. vision and view of the portfolio? So our vision is very clear. Flash is going to be everywhere. It's going to be simultaneously in every tier of the architecture. It's going to be in servers, PCI flash cards, you mentioned a bunch of them, a bunch of vendors. It's going to be in the network as a tier zero flash only device sitting on the SAN or on the IP network. And it's going to be in all the storage arrays that are in multiple doing caching. The key thing is a software to do the coordination optimization of that. So, give you an example. One is efficiency. If you have flash up at the server, which bring in the I.O. close to the CPU, it's really fast, but if that server fails over, you need to have efficiency. You don't want to be caching in the server, the network, and the storage, but also it's a data integrity issue. And you need this coordination software across these different domains. So, for instance, if that VM that's using that local cache card, call it Fusion I.O., LSI, Intel, we use them all, if that VM fails over to another system, either by an outage or from vMotion, how do you make sure you don't have a data integrity issue on the other side, right? A stale read or write. It's that coordination across the different levels, across servers, that IBM's actually very strong in, and that's what we're demoing today. So other clients are talking about, in fact, I think EMC's ahead of us from messaging, for sure, but when you look at our portfolio on flash optimization there in our direction, we see the same opportunity, but we're actually better positioned. So for instance, flashcards. EMC comes out with their own proprietary flashcard. We'll let you use any of the vendors you already have. In fact, in our portfolio, Intel, LSI, Micron, Fusion IO, use what you want. We're not going to build another one. That seems kind of strange. In the storage, all of our product line are flash optimized. You put salty disk, industry standard salty disk, and we'll do the automatic optimization environment. And we announced today a tier zero array that gets, sits in the network. It's called our sexy term, ultra SSD drawer that listen, you see like EMC buying um, you know, uh, Extreme I.O. 
this blows away Extreme IO and we developed it internally. It's a 1U, 12 terabyte SSD device. It can go 650 IOs per second. That's compared to an Extreme IO that's not even in production. Half that capacity, half that performance. And you're going to see us drive this. So when you look at what we have and the live demo we did as far as the coordination, again, for efficiency across the domains, but also for failover. So you get all the benefits of having the different layers. And again, we're not going to pigeonhole into one particular solution because I think the different solutions are there, the vendors are driving it, we're going to leverage that aggressiveness. Okay. And the key thing for us is we're going to help you coordinate. So, so I want to ask you, so, I mean, so Dave and I have been talking about this four horsemen of disruption in the IT world. Four Cloud, horsemen, four, uh, horsemen. <laughs> four horsemen, you know. Okay, because you know, Dave loves the horses on the track. Courses for horses, horses for courses, you know, is expression. But you know, really the four horsemen, cloud, which is the IT transformation, mobile, which is the consumerization of sure. IT, social, which is real time analytics, the yep. need for speed, uh, and then big data, the transformation aspect. Could you just go through there and see, does that hit your portfolio objectives, those four areas, and, and of those cloud, mobile, social, and big data, um, talk a little bit about those four things quickly. Okay. So it fits in all of them, but let's take cloud first. I mentioned the one example of private clouds, and that would be PureFlex, but also file clouds, which are more public clouds, which are very nascent business, actually, but we're getting traction. You see announcements in today and in, uh, in, uh, uh, announcements in December of this year that bring that full force. So if you want to build a private EC2 in your own data center, you're going to be able to do that on any of our file-based products. Um, but again, a cloud, I think we're a very strong offering, especially with PureFlex in it. Um, analytics, big data, because of our investment on the software side, the actual applications, we're really tied together. Now, some of the solutions, you know, we can do analytics, which is all about flash, getting performance quickly to the IOs. A lot of these are flash resident systems, but uh, it's going to be memory resident databases. Flash is a natural extension of that. And you're seeing us do that things with, you know, SAP HANA, et cetera. That's how we participate, but also in the big data like Hadoop. We don't have it as a storage offering, but IBM has one of the best Hadoop offerings in the industry. It's called Big Insights. It's actually sold and brought to clients by our analytic team. Now, why is that? Because when people are looking to deploy big data into, they need help finding out what software, how do you get those insights. It's not just dropping off hardware and having them, hey, listen, I'm a storage guy. Here's a bunch of Hadoop stuff. It's actually helping you do that, and IBM is fully equipped with that on the applications, the services, and we're able to deliver that. So the big data and analytics, we're best positioned in the industry to do exactly that, and what you're seeing in products today in market. Um, you mentioned the, uh, well, I put analytics and big data together, so I put yeah. two horsemen together. The other one is mobile. That's all about performance, that's all about scale and also cost effectiveness. And if we build out the infrastructure for them, so we enable people to do cost effective mobile application and consumerization, and we're driving that, where most of our value is now in software, less and less in proprietary hardware. Like for instance, the flash I mentioned, we don't build a separate PCI card, it's already available in the market space, leverage that and leverage that innovation. So I actually think we're pretty well aligned across the four horsemen, I actually like that, I'm going to steal that. Cool. Ed, talk a little bit about, the last question actually, we're running sure. out of time here. Um, so some of the futures, IBM is pretty disciplined in what it sure. tells Very people about the futures, but what are you telling your customers about you know, what to look for down the road? Yeah, so. Can you show us a little leg here? <laughs> yes, I, I think we can. Um, so we're actually making statement of the directions currently, and I can share a little bit more past that, but statement of directions that we're making today of what we're going to do in the next nine to 18 months. It's a lot of enhancements around Flash, and we're doing live demos of what I just talked about, the coordination for both efficiency, but also resiliency across the different Flash tiers. We're doing live demos of that today at Edge, and you're going to see that come out in later this year, this calendar year. So distributed, sort of Flash coherent. Flash is everywhere. Yeah. We'll help you do that, but we're not going to pigeonhole you something proprietary, but we're going to help you across the servers, the network, and the storage, but have the coordination software, which is really the value for clients. So that's one, that same flash conversation plays into analytics. You're also going to see the big data. The way we're approaching big data is to leverage our capabilities to help people, well, leverage big data. It's not just the hardware guys, it's how do you bring the whole idea together and walk clients through it, how to get insights, how to do things, and that's what we're doing. So actually our software team and our service team are the ones that bring in the hardware. It's called Big Insights, is our Hadoop cluster. So I think those are the things. So big data and cloud is, are is the, clearly the big insight, there. is that the uh, analytics or just a Hadoop package? So that is just Hadoop. Got so it. imagine just Intel, internal storage, Hadoop cluster, fully integrated, come from IBM, and that is sold by a software team, regardless of what analytic application you're using. What's but the, it what's is the key at analytics Hadoop. package that you guys sell, platform? Well, it's actually the portfolio's pretty um, broad. Pretty broad. So I, I, I'm probably- That's a software group though. Correct. Okay, got it, okay. 
All right, Ed Walsh, thanks very much. Thank really you. appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. I know yeah. you're running around giving keynotes, meeting with customers. So <laughs> Thank uh, you. It's always great to see you. Always, always welcome a pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Ed, Walsh. Ed Walsh. We'll be right back with the next guest in the Cube after this break. I uh, want to thank IBM for allowing us to come to this as independent media. So watch their commercials, watch their videos, and support IBM, and we'll bring you more Cube action here live in Orlando from SiliconANGLE and Wikibon right after this break. Sure.